Hello, I'm back with some more Escape from Tarkov, and uh, I know a lot of you have been asking, when patch, bro? When patch? Gib why? Gib patch. Well, preliminary patch notes are out, and this is what we're going to be getting into uh, 09 patch coming out, hopefully, next couple of days, next week or so, hopefully, as sooner, the sooner the better, because I want to see scav bosses, because those are in, but we'll go through everything else and see what we've got. So, wipe will be partial, the earned level of reputation of traders will be saved. So, you don't have to worry about your traders, you'll still be able to buy your favorite guns and ammo and attachments and things like that. But you might have to get your level up there yet again, and obviously you gotta do your skills and things like that. But that's not really too much of an issue, you know, a lot of the time, most of the people sort of rush through these things so you can get your traders up, so you can buy good stuff. Or you might even want to unlock something, so that's kind of what I do the quest for. So, added the first of planned scav bosses, the Dealmaker. His favorite hunt, dorms, and gas stations, and customs. His leadership skills allow the Dealmaker to easily pull together a posse of former factory workers, well armed. They continue to force their own rules in Tarkov. The Dealmaker prefers to avoid fair fights, quickly retreating to a safe place and leaving his guys to deal with the enemy. The boss does not make an appearance on location every time, but with a certain chance. So what does that tell us? Well, it's quite simple. You might not see the scav boss spawn on gas station every single time. It might be 1 out of 2, 1 out of 3, 1 out of 5, depending on what the spawn rate for it will be. If it's got a 5%, 10%, 20%, 30%, 50% chance of spawning, you will see him pop up around the sort of gas station and around dorms. Hopefully, we'll see at least the 30% sort of spawn rate. So maybe one out of three raids, you'll end up seeing him at gas station or maybe at dorms. I kind of don't want to see him on every raid, and I agree with him in this respect. That if he gets to the point where you see him every single time, I think he gets a bit boring. He gets a bit repetitive. So I'd rather have him something a little bit more special. Is he there? Is he not there? So he leaves a bit of sort of mystery there and hopefully when you see him he's going to have something special. It's going to be really cool so you might not know if you're going to see him or not. So hopefully that'll be something that it's going to happen. Next thing that we're going to see in 09 is added flashbang grenades, added smoke grenades, added NVIDIA highlights recording, pass, uh, use shadow play. And another thing that the community has been asking for quite some time, added armbands of basic colors players can now pick the color to make it easier to tell friend from foe in combat and there's also another 50 weapon modifications which i'll not go through it right now now armbands good idea something that the community has been wanting for quite some time are they really sort of practical would they save your life one out of ten times probably will do they probably will you still need to sort of scope your friend, you still need to sort of keep together and keep close and know where he is. Otherwise, if it's sort of two, three hundred meters away and you don't have a scope on your gun, it's going to be a little bit harder for you to see what that armband is. I mean, depending on what the size uh, of the armband is, I mean, if it's from your shoulder to your elbow, then obviously you're going to see him because he's partly green there. But we're just going to have to wait and see how that's going to play out. But it's definitely a great idea that you can uh, tell friend from foe with a little armband. A uh, couple of guns are being gonna uh, they're gonna be added in. So the Glock 18C 9x19 pistol and the DS Arms SA58 Para 7.6251. Now this is what I like to call the 09 patch. I like to call this the armor patch because holy hell, there's a lot of armor that's coming into this. So when it comes to new equipment, it goes a little bit like this: armored visor for the Kiver helmet, BNTI. Body armor, IOTV Generation 4 Body Armor Mobile, IOTV Generation 4 Body Armor Assault Variant, then again IOTV Full Protection, 5.11 Tech Tech Armor Plated Vest, Blackhawk Commando Chest Harness, and a Tactical 2 Beta 2 Combat Pack. Momex Balaclava, I like those, I love the Balaclavas. Then you also have the LSHZ helmet, the GP5 gas mask, the 6B34 ballistic glasses, GSSH01 active headphones, so a lot of headphones for those of you who liked it, uh, another deadly skull mask, shattered lightweight reinforced mask, uh, tag running ballistic helmet, pom pom hat, yes, I want that. 
Uh, Miltic bunny, a bandana, a neoprene face mask, another couple of shimags, a Usyk cap, black cap, and a bear cap that's uh, black as well. And then you got Highcom Striker, ACHHC38 helmet, olive, black, coyote tan, and black. And you also have the armbands, which we talked about earlier on. And they will be the basic colors, yellow, green, blue, red, and white. Where my pink at, Nikita? Where my pink at, man? Uh, a couple of new quests you're also going to get. Five mechanic quests, four ragman quests, and five skier quests. Added new containers and new loot on locations. Factory, woods, and customs. And they've also added on customs and interchange, they added new paid exits. So you might to uh, you might want to check these out. You might want to have a little bit of money in your pocket into a wallet, into a gamma, because interchange and customs will have different extractions that you will need to pay for, just like the one you sort of pay for woods. It costs you three grand to take the car and get out that way. Uh, obviously, there's some changes in there. Adjusted the loot spawn chances of all maps, price rebalance of weapon grenades, weapon mods, increased prices of ammo. Which is a good thing. It's something that we've been wanting for quite some time. I kind of wanted the, the guns to make sense. Once he gets past the first sort of first week, two, three weeks, then everybody sort of got to level sort of 15, 20, 25. Nobody really goes back to the little guns anymore. Nobody uses the pistols. Nobody uses the sort of SMGs. Nobody uses the sort of 818 sort of bullets and stuff like that. So I kind of want them to, I know the AK, and I've, I've said it before, the AK is way too cheap for 20k. But then again, you don't want to make it too expensive. But same thing with the pistols, same thing with the SMGs. You, you, you need to sort of find a balance in there. Uh, reduce mouse sensitivity when aiming through high magnification scopes. That's cool. Change some uh, quest rewards. Change some quest requirements. Change alpha vest configuration. Increase penetration of SP5 ammo and SP6 rounds. Uh, various adjustments of weapon mods and armor parameters. Improve the behavior of individual scavs. Well, that's probably going to be 360 no scoping again. Uh, optimize geometry of level objects. And improve collection of crash dumps. So, we'll just have to see how that's going to go. Another thing, additional changes, is something that we've been uh, sort of wanting for quite some time, is further freezes and shattering fixes. Further improvement of anti-cheat work and disconnect associated with anti-cheat. Further optimization of the graphical and functional component. Preparation for the animation optimization phase and various bug fixes. Now, what does that mean? Well, it's in preparation for the actual animations that we are going to get. We're going to get some animations for bandaging. You're going to get some animations for basically all the stuff that we have in game. It's going to take some time. They're not going to happen overnight. But we will get them, so it's just taking their time to sort of get it right, make sure it works, and hopefully it'll be really cool. That will change the dynamic of the fights, it will change how a fight happens, because you will no longer be able to just run around and sort of keep spamming four or five, whatever you bound one of your IFAX on, and then magically you just heal as you're running away. You will need to take your time, you will need to heal, it's going to be more of a tactical approach to engaging people, you think, well, am I going to bleed out? Is it going to be two, three of them? And I'm going to take enough fire that is going to make me bleed. And I won't have a chance to heal myself because they probably will engage afterwards. It's going to be a lot more sort of tactical decisions will have to be made that way. How is it going to be implemented? When is it going to be implemented? We're going to have to wait and see. And hopefully it will not be too long before we see that. As for everything else, fixes, uh, fixed various glitches, lack of visibility and audibility of shots from the SR-1 MP with a shrimp pistol. Armor now stops the bullet flight correctly if there was no penetration. Fixed incorrect dimension of certain items and other visual fixes. And that's pretty much it for the patch notes. Now I know some of you will be disappointed that you're not going to see the Mosin in there. They did say it's going to be in, then they changed their minds a little bit later down the line saying... Well, it's not going to be quite ready just yet, so hopefully we'll see it into a sort of immediate patch afterwards while they're getting some of this stuff in. It still needs to be fixed, still needs to be worked out what and how they're going to be putting that stuff in. I'm always going to leave a few stuff there for the fellow scav, man. If you're using the TARS, you know you have to. You can't just take out stuff like that. So let me know what you think about the patch. Hopefully enjoy the video, some of the things you want to see, and I will see you in the next one.